So the fresh new Pixel Buds Pro are Google's first true wireless earbuds since the excellent Pixel Buds A series, which by the way, came out over a year ago now. Seriously, time, stop being so fucking scary, all right? And with the slightly eye-watering asking price of 179 great British pounds, these fresh Pixel Buds Pro cost 80 quid more than the A series earbuds. And for that extra scratch, you get active noise cancellation, longer battery life, wireless charging, and a few extra tasty bonuses. Now I've had these curvy wee buggers lodged in my lug holes for a good few days now, so here's my early Google Pixel Buds Pro impressions, and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So let's start with the design, beginning with the case, and as with the Pixel A series, it's like a smooth round pebble, just slips effortlessly into any pocket or bag. If you do slip it into your jeans pocket or something, it won't jut awkwardly into your pancreas and make things a little bit awkward. The actual Pixel Buds Pro themselves are also like smooth round pebbles, and they are pleasingly dinky, so they don't jut right out of your head like some of Google's previous efforts. They are a lot more subtle in that regard. It's a matte surface, they don't get all smudgy and greasy or anything like that. You've got a two-tone finish here as well, available in four different colours, charcoal, fog, lemongrass and coral. There's no kind of ear hooks on the Google Pixel Buds Pro to help keep them stable inside of your head, so I was a little bit worried that they would be constantly slipping about, you'd have to be constantly adjusting them. But thankfully, even if you're wearing them while walking at pace, they stay lodged neatly in place somehow. I don't know, physics. Because I really love you guys, I even indulged in a little bit of light jogging to see how they'd fare there. And again, stayed perfectly in place. They didn't go flying off and straight down the nearest drain. You've just got to make sure you've got the right size of silicon tip installed. You get three different sizes bundled with the Pixel Buds Pro, so that shouldn't be a problem. You've got a fit test as part of the Pixel Buds app in case you're not entirely sure anyway, but yeah, fit seems absolutely ideal. And just to further prove that, mosh test. And the Pixel Buds Pro are super comfortable to wear all day long as well. Apparently Google has built some sort of sensors into these things which can actually monitor the levels of pressure inside your lug holes just to make sure that everything is as comfy as possible. And Whatever this crazy magic is, it seems to do the job because I can wear these things for hours at a time with no kind of discomfort. That's probably helped along by the fact that I'm not constantly fidgeting with them because they're slipping or anything, so no issues there. And these things are also IPX4 water and sweat resistant. Yum. So yeah, no problems whatsoever if you do want to do a proper bit of jogging or get yourself down the gym. Now, when you first hook up your Pixel Buds Pro to your device, well, I certainly had no issues with the pairing on any of my Android smartphones that I tried it with. I did have some problems with the Pixel Buds Pro app, which you were then prompted to download just to add some extra features and settings and toggles. Uh, but that was only for the first 24 hours, and then it just seemed to magically work absolutely fine. So just some early teeth in there, pre-release. This just adds a whole bunch of extra controls, which are pretty standard for true wireless earbuds, including the ability to customize the controls, tweak the ANC level, just do that ear tip seal check, which I told you about before, and a bit of find my device action as well, if you am to misplace your Pixel Buds Pro anywhere. You've also got the ability to connect to two different devices and swap between them on the fly, quite handy if you want to get connected to your laptop as well as your smartphone. And I've got to say, for a pair of true wireless earbuds, the touch controls here are absolutely excellent. Just a single tap of either bird will pause your music, another tap again will resume it. You can double tap in order to skip forward, triple tap in order to skip back, and sometimes those multiple tap efforts can be a little bit wonky. Sometimes you'll have to do them a couple of times before it actually registers. Here on the Pixel Buds Pro, it just works perfectly every single time. No learning curve or whatever, it's perfectly intuitive. You can even change the volume on these true wireless earbuds by swiping forward to raise it, swiping backwards to lower it. Of course, that's slightly different to most true wireless earbuds where it's up and down. It took me a little while to sort of adjust and also swiping down in these buds seems to raise the volume still, uh, which resulted in ear piercing shrieking and me going, ah! And you can also long press on a bud to swap between the ANC mode and the transparency mode, which is basically the opposite of ANC, it just pumps in everything into your lug holes. You can hear conversations, announcements, whatever's going on. That's the default setup. You can also have it cycle between ANC on, ANC off and transparency or just ANC on and ANC off or whatever you fancy. It's all customizable via the app. And if you want to have a bit of a chat with the Google Assistant, well, no need to poke or prod these buds. You don't have to touch them at all. Just use the usual voice activation phrase, which I won't say right now, just in case it sends your smart home gear going a bit mental. 
And speaking of the assistants, you can pop up at any time in your ears and alert you to any notifications that have just freshly appeared on your smartphone, as long as it's hibernating. Of course, this can mean constant interruptions when you are enjoying a podcast or an audiobook or something while you're out and about or just doing a bit of work. But no worries if that sounds bloody awful to you, you'd rather just be left completely alone because you can knock it off in the Pixel Buds Pro settings. You can also highly customize it so you can have it turned on for certain apps, turned off for other apps, or only your high priority stuff will be alerted. Now, one of the big upgrades for the Google Pixel Buds Pro versus the older Air series is the active noise cancellation that's now built in, apparently controlled by a custom Google processor, la -dee da It's not adaptive ANC or anything like that. It can't boost up and then lower back down dependent on what's going on in your environment. And it's not one of the best noise cancellation efforts I've tested out in a pair of true wireless earbuds either, certainly around this sort of price point. A lot of stuff still leaks in just in a dampened state. So not quite as ideal as some big rivals from the likes of Bose if you are a regular traveller, for instance. But that said, the Google Pixel Buds Pro do do just enough so you can walk down a really busy, noisy high street and comfortably listen to an audiobook or a podcast without having to jack the volume all the way up. And thankfully, no wind interference either, hip hip bizarre. So let's have a shift onto the sound quality and the Google Pixel Buds Pro do pump some pretty respectable sound and audio into your head. Unfortunately, the codec support is rather limited. I was basically on EAC the whole time with these things. I think they also support SBC. So there's certainly no LDAC action. There's no Aptex HD, any of that good stuff. It's a bit of a shame considering the price of these buds, they ain't exactly cheap. I also found that the bass output was a little bit soft for my personal taste and it is supposed to get a bit more powerful, a bit more beefy as you lower the volume, but I gotta say I didn't personally notice any difference. That said, I did enjoy listening to music here on the Pixel Buds Pro as well as audiobooks and podcasts. The whole range comes through nice and clear, no discernible issues, and the vocals are really strong as well, which again is great news if you are a podcast fan, for instance. And if you actually want to take a call on these things as well, if you indeed actually ever take calls, well, the good news is that the beamform and mics do a great job of picking up your voice and drowning out a lot of the crap that's going on around you if you are making a call while you're walking down, again, a busy high street. So here's a recording of me just chatting using the Google Pixel Bud microphones and I'm in a fairly quiet studio environment right now so nice and easy for them but let's do the high street test by turning on some really loud obnoxious traffic sounds and those are on the go right now right next to my head super super loud so a very busy high street more like a, a dual carriageway or something actually and uh, as you can hear the mics are still doing a pretty good job of picking up on my voice. And last up for this Google Pixel Buds Pro review, the battery life. And Google advertises seven hours of use on a single charge before the buds will be completely depleted. I found I got just under that advertised amount, more like sort of six and a half hours. And that is with the active noise cancellation turned on. If you knock that off entirely, you can add a few extra hours on top of that seven hour total, which is bloody brilliant. Well above average for a pair of true wireless earbuds even in 2022 and perfect for long journeys, except for, you know, transatlantic extravaganzas. As for the case, well, this doesn't pack the biggest battery in the world. It can fully recharge the Pixel Buds Pro close to two times and then the case itself will need a recharge as well but the good news is you've got type c charging down below and also wireless charging which you, can, you kind of expect at this sort of premium price point and can i mention again just how much i love this case nice and dinky just feels great in the hand in the pocket and i also love the way it flips open like a lighter like it just it really makes me want to spark up a ciggy and i don't even smoke Oh, and the case itself is IPX2 water resistant as well. So not quite as water resistant as the Buds, but it can still get a bit moist. And that right there, in a nutshell, is the Google Pixel Buds Pro and my thoughts on them. Just after using them for a few days as my full-time true wireless earbuds. I do really like them, even though the ANC isn't quite as strong as a lot of rivals. The customization's great, touch control's fantastic. Got that dedicated Google Assistant support. Brilliant battery life, comfortable design, yada, yada, yada. So yeah, definitely if you've got the scratch for them and you've got an Android smartphone and you love a bit of Google, you want to give them even more cash. I love you, Google. Here's all my money. Then 100%, I would say go for it. Definitely if you've got a bit less money to spend, you're not quite so bothered about having the likes of the ANC and the battery life isn't so important for you. Well, you've got the Pixel Buds A series, which are a lot cheaper instead. So what do you guys reckon? Are you tempted? Have you actually got some Pixel Buds Pro? Because they are on sale right now, as I say, for £179. Uh, be great to your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. And that's about it. Cheers, guys. Love you.